Early the next morning was Starbeam and Kuro. Starbeam woke up early in his guest room in the palace when he turned to see Kuro was awake to make her usual dragon sounds. Zoo! Me, me! Oh, sorry, Kuro. To w sorry to wake you, Kuro. Just getting a few early errands in, said Starbeam as Kuro rubs the sleepiness out of her eyes before rising from her bed. Uh, you don't have to come with me. You could do sleep a few few more hours if you want to. Mega root chop, said Curl with a shake of her head, who made it perfectly clear her mind is made up. Starving chuckles, so he says while nodding. <laughs> okay, I could take a hint, but we will need to stop by a local bakery to make for some snacks. We don't want, we won't be getting reckless right away, and I don't want you getting too, getting too impatient while during your errand. Kuro gives no further protest and they leave for their first morning duties. Once they had grabbed some snacks, Kuro was busy, busy picking out while they went on their errands. Once those were done, Starbeam decided to give Kuro a little day just for them. Okay, Kuro, we're done with all that for now. It's about time we get some breakfast. How about I treat you to something nice? Wee! What's up? asked Kuro, who was definitely curious about this and excited as her tail was wagging in the air behind her. We're eating out. It's a restaurant near here and make some really delicious pancakes, said Starbeam, who piqued Kuro's interest, so he led the way. At the restaurant, they got a bunch of stairs from ponies and made some and some made a joke that there are no pets allowed, but Starbeam quickly explained that Kuro isn't a wild animal before Kuro could pick a fight with that pony, but at least they didn't get kicked out before they got to eat. They were in the middle of an enjoy enjoying a nice walk through the city when Kuro suddenly tapped Starbeam's shoulder to ask him something as she made these sounds. Starry poey creek el escua? Huh? Went Starbeam before looking up what Curl was saying in the book Jericho gave him on the draconic language, which translates to Curl, happy being with Starbeam. Can Curl really stay here with Starbeam? Uh, well, that was kind of established when I discovered that certain things aren't possible when I did that spell on you when we first met, but because you wouldn't be able to wouldn't be Apparently, survive in the, on your own in the wild, but yeah, you can re really stay with me," said Starbeam while pulling Crow off his back to give her a big hug, and she returned the favor. I, I actually feel that she's becoming a huge part, an important part of my life. She's family now.